Hey guys, so I've got something to show you. It's this. Uh, it's a bunch of stuff on a breadboard. But more than that, it's a, uh, a LiPo cut-off circuit. So it's a moment, I know there's a lot of stuff on here, I realise that. I'll draw a diagram so you can see, and we'll also demo it. But it's a, uh, a momentary push-button power switch hooked up with uh, a TC54 voltage detector by microchip. Um, and it's a 3.3 volt uh, voltage detector chip. So it will turn off the circuit automatically at 3.3 volts or below. Uh, so let me show you how it works. Actually, before we do that, um, the momentary switch I got from a guy called Dave Jones, uh, his, he's got a video, I'll put it up here so that you can click on it and, uh, and look at that in more detail. I'll go over a little bit of it, but it was his idea, so uh, props to him. So this is, um, this is the circuit. It's mostly Dave Jones' work, really. Um, the momentary power circuit that's in here is mostly his work. And then we've got the TC54, which I've added, so it's a modification of the circuit that he produced. Now it does look like there's a lot of parts there, and I suppose there are quite a few. So you've got we've got um, four NPN transistors on there, and we've got the P-channel MOSFET, and a bunch of resistors and a capacitor, and we've got an LED to di to display whether it's on or not. So we can turn it on now, just with a momentary push button, and you'll see it's now drawing 16 milliamps, and then I can turn it off again just using that button. So that's that capacitor there that's doing that. Now, if I turn it on, and we'll try taking this voltage down, it's going to be a lot of clicking, and it should turn off at around 3 volts. So it's turned off a little bit sooner than I expected. In fact, is it still on? It is still on, but the LED's very dim, so if I just bring it back up. So if I take it down to 3, we'll just go below 3. And then if I bring it back up, back up again. And so it's no longer on, so it's turned itself off. Now this um, MOSFET, um, its uh, VGS is around 2 uh, volts to 4 volts, so it will work at 2 or just above two. So you can't guarantee this circuit will turn off at a safe LiPo voltage, but adding the TC54 means that it pulls the, the gate on that transistor um, that we'll, we'll look at in the schematic. Um, it pulls it low so that uh, it turns off. So let's have a look at the schematic so that we can see what we're talking about. So we've got our diagram here. Uh, let me just run through it really quickly. Uh, so we've got the, the MOSFET here. Its source is connected to voltage in. Um, and we've got a 100k resistor connected to the gate on there. Um, that's apparent. Well, Dave Jones explained that you wouldn't want it flapping in the breeze, but basically you don't want it not connected to anything because weird things happen. Um, and then it's connected to this transistor. And now, while this transistor is in an off state, um, so it's not connected to ground, this MOSFET won't be turning on. The gate of this transistor is connected to a switch here, which in turn is connected to the 100k resistor at the top here, which goes to voltage in. So when you press on that switch, you turn this transistor on, and then that essentially grounds out the gate on the MOSFET, so turning it on. Once that MOSFET is on, you've got another 100k resistor here going to the base of that transistor, so that it keeps that transistor on, so it's a, like a self-perpetuating circuit. Now, because we want that switch to be an on and off thing, um, once that is on, it also turns on, once the circuit's on, it also turns on this transistor here um, through this one mega ohm resistor and we've got our capacitor there. That's so that we can have uh, a pause in the, the button so it doesn't oscillate continuously. So when you, um, when you then press the switch again, um, after a little while, this bit here is connected directly to ground once this transistor's on, so it shorts out the base of this transistor and turns it off. So that's the simple power switch. And then what I've done is modified it, so I've added a TC54, which is the voltage detector down here. It's got uh, VIN going directly to the drain of the MOSFET, um, so it's measuring the voltage that's coming out. Um, and then its V out is connected to a 100k resistor to the base of a transistor down here. So once 
If uh, the TC54 detects that the voltage is lower than 3 volts, it will turn on its output, the, the V out, and it will turn on that transistor, grounding out the base to this transistor, so turning off the circuit. And that's essentially it, all it is. It's pretty simple. It's only a small modification to Dave's circuit, but hopefully it will come in handy for some people. So hopefully this can help some people. Um, it's meant to be for uh, 4.2 volt uh, to 3 volt LiPo batteries, so that it cuts off at 3 volts and doesn't damage your battery. Um, hopefully it was a good enough explanation. If anyone's got any questions, please feel free to ask. If you've got any improvements or have spotted any mistakes, please also tell me because, you know, I'm an idiot. So I've probably made one. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching the first non-hungover video in a while. And uh, I'll see you next time.